Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com, and for this week's show and tell, I want to geek out with you about tricorders, Star Trek's iconic prop, the handheld tricorder. I've said this before, I'm still entitled, my dream hand prop, like for Adam, for example, I think it's uh, the Blade Runner blaster that he made, my dream hand prop is that Star Trek tricorder. I'm such a big fan of Star Trek. When I watched the next generation growing up, the thing I wanted more than anything else in the world was a tricorder. Well, let me give you, first of all, a history of that tricorder. Uh, back when TNG started uh, in the late 1980s, uh, they redesigned all the Star Trek props from the original series. You had new phasers, new comm badges, and of course, new science equipment, new tricorder. And that Mark VI and Mark VII, I believe it was the TR-560 series, uh, had working lights. And it was a light plastic prop made by some really talented prop makers. Because um, back then, putting LED lights differentiated that from the, the original series. But what I have today, actually, finally, is not that Mark VI or Mark VII. It's actually the Mark IX or Mark X, depending on that sticker on the bottom right-hand corner. Ronberry Productions, which is run by the son of Gene Ronberry, uh, Ron Ronberry's company has released a perfect replica of the Mark IX science tricorder, and I have it right here. This thing has a really nice heft. It's a die cast prop that's actually made from the, uh, they say, the original master toolings. Now, uh, back in 1998, uh, the production company that made all the Star Trek props, it was called HMS Productions, uh, based in Burbank and run by two guys, Steve Horsch, who unfortunately passed away in 2010, and also uh, Michael Moore, uh, both veterans of Star Trek prop making. They redesigned uh, the tricorder for the later uh, Next Generation movies. They made it for uh, Voyager and Deep Space Nine, and and that was the Mark IX, Mark X. It had longer lasting battery. I think they ran for like three hours as opposed to 15 minutes on set. Um, and just had tons of LEDs and great sound effects. Really vibrant. And that's what has been recreated here today. So I'm gonna actually flip this open. I know I've been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, that's just awesome. That classic science tricorder. See all the LED lights, I'm actually gonna what did that emergency button do? It's at the bottom right here. It says Tricorder Mark 9, made in San Francisco, Starfleet, and model TR590. And when you close it, there's that ratcheting sound effects to close it. Uh, really nice heft of this thing. Much better than that 1993 Playmates toy tricorder that I bought back when I was a kid. But if you don't want to get this, and you wanna build your own tricorder, that's an option too. If you have that 1993 Playmates version, you can actually find those on eBay for about 30 bucks, and there are kits that people sell. I think a $150 electronics kit that you can combine the Playmates version with that to give it the LED lights and the sound effects. I might do that as a separate project, uh, but I couldn't resist getting this completed tricorder. It also comes with a holster, just like the one used in the series. It's actually a military surplus holster with all the dings and scratches. They bought it from a military supply, supply shop. Um, but that's it. So it's an iconic prop. It's what basically inspired smartphones, PDAs. I know there are people actually trying to make these tricorders uh, something in this size with a working digital screen that can actually do actual sensing. Uh, Peter Jensen, a maker in Canada, has been working on one that has atmospheric and electromagnetic sensors. Uh, I'm fine with this. Uh, not having the sensor is just having the sound effects and these totally accurate lights. I'm gonna do the open it one more time, show you guys what this looks like. Oh! One of the best hand props ever made. We'll be back next week on Tesla.com with another show and tell. I'm Norm. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.